morning everyone welcome back to the wall street bull anthony here i've got my morning espresso happy monday let's get into some updates with xyo because it has just gone parabolic let's get into some updates with xrp what's happening in the market here in australia also what i bought last night all right stick around Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the Wall Street. Bill Anthony here. I hope you're all doing well, and I hope you are enjoying your Sunday in the States and, of course, around the rest of the world. It is Monday morning here. Thank you very much to every one of you who have subscribed to the channel, guys. Cheers. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Quick sip of the coffee. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Just wanted to say again, thank you very much. And also, if you're new to this channel, make sure you smash the subscribe button and turn on that little bell notification as well, because I love documenting my journey with investing, be it through cryptos, dividend stocks, growth stocks, talking about passive income, building financial freedom. And my most important thing right here and goal at the end of the day is to build generational wealth. So come along on this incredible journey. And if everyone could smash that like button, it would really help this channel and the algorithm, and I would appreciate it. There it is down there. I right? give it a good old tap. All right, little disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor, so please do your own research and due diligence. It's very important with this stuff. I don't want to see anyone get financially hurt. Please, please, please jump on all the websites like I've recommended in all these videos. Masari.io, Luna Crush, Reddit, Medium, TikTok if you have to. Just be careful on that. YouTube, everything. Google, everything. Twitter. Just get confident before jumping into this stuff, all right? And please, please, please set yourself a limit. My only rule is I only invest what I can afford to lose. Yes, we don't like to lose, but you have to set a limit because especially with cryptos, you can lose your money like that, all right? So please be careful. Don't take what I say as financial all advice. Right. So... Guys, now that the formalities are out of the way, I just want to just say uh, XYO was incredible the last couple of days. It is unbelievable. It has gone to the right, moon. Guys, so obviously everyone knows that XYO has gone to the moon. It has gone parabolic. It is listed on Coinbase. And I tell you, I was waiting for this. I actually thought it was only going to be listed on Coinbase Pro, but it ended up being listed on Coinbase uh, which is incredible guys so there you go everyone is freaking out about that ad has just gone parabolic i'm so happy really happy for these guys and i'm glad that i invested in this project very early so xyo you can see right there now available to trade on coinbase very happy stuff there guys incredible coin utility incredible partnerships right now um, obviously there's so much utility with this with geospatial uh, gps sort of tracking technology very similar to v chain in a sense but uh, obviously you know different you know with their own sort of uh you know blockchain technology here but it is going to change the game for sure obviously you know a lot of things to do with you know like insurance healthcare, you know um yeah, rental sort of car industry package mail all that kind of stuff you'd be able to track where the location is what happened there in that instance you'd be able to locate it using geospatial technology which you know uses everyone's phones and stuff like that just an incredible project guys i'm so happy and uh, i can safely say it's an adrenaline rush when you wake up and you see your crypto investments just gone parabolic and i'm sure a lot of you saw that as well so congratulations Obviously, you know, you need to bear in mind that if you are investing in cryptos that, you know, you may consider taking profits or your initial investment out. That's what basically I do. Um, or the alternative is to hold and see how it goes. And uh, obviously, you need to do your own research and be comfortable financially to do that. Um, but uh, yeah, it's pretty incredible stuff man, to see your crypto just go flying up to the moon. It's it's really cool. So I'm really happy. Congrats. A big shout out to XYO. Um, this is a really cool project, guys. Really happy about this. And uh, guys, I'm definitely still dollar cost averaging into XYO, even though it did go parabolic. It's still got a long way to go for sure. And uh, just a great project to hold. So congrats. Um, obviously, everyone is looking at X, uh, XRP in terms of news updates. I'm going to get into some updates with XRP. So another SEC lawsuit, Howler sees Ripple pulling away. This is obviously to, and last uh, two days ago, so obviously the weekend. But some interesting stuff is happening with this case. So the SEC um, Commission has admitted that before inciting legal proceedings against Ripple, it never informed inquiring third parties that it considers XRP a security. This is an official admission in this case, guys. So the Commission admits that before filing this case, certain third parties had inquired about the legal status of XRP. However, the Commission did not state in a view one way or another in its response. This comment, sorry, the comment came out in a request for admission to the SEC document attached to the latest fi court filing. What's more, the piece of evidence now forms official admission in the case. Guys, this is only a matter of time before this court case settles. The SEC is fighting a losing battle with this, and this coin is going to settle with the, ex, uh, the SEC, guys. It's just a, mo a matter of time, so uh, don't miss out. 
do your research this is going to go parabolic it's just a matter of time you just need to hodl and obviously dollar cost average into xrp because once this thing gets settled this coin is going to be unstoppable it honestly will be unstoppable and everyone will be kicking themselves that they didn't get into this obviously you need to do your own research please but be careful all right so how does this uh, obviously help ripple the ongoing sec versus ripple lawsuit is currently still in discovery phase since december 2020 both sides have sparred on several motions with the intent of verifying their respective claims, which obviously is moving into Ripple's favour. We know this, and obviously uh, even Brad Garlinghouse, the CEO of Ripple, has mentioned that in an email to me, myself personally. So this is incredible. On balance, Ripple has undoubtedly come on to out on top. For example, in compelling the SEC to answer if Ethereum is a security recently, uh, this point strengthens Ripple's case regardless of how the SEC answers. So if the answer is no, then it opens the door for Ripple to compare XRP to Ether. And as we know, only Ethereum had an ICO. Yes, it is not a politically fathomable answer for the SEC. So a significant aspect uh, of the defense comes down to fair notice. This asserts that Ripple was under the assumption that XRP, Bitcoin and Ether were equivalents in the eyes of the SEC. So and former SEC director William Hinman um, greenlit both Ether and Bitcoin uh, Ripple assumed the same for XRP. It follows that without fair notice, otherwise the firm is unaware of breaching applicable securities law. What do you think is going to happen with this? Oh, regarding the latest bombshell admission by the SEC by stating that they refuse to clarify XRP's legal status before litigation, they have effectively played into the fair notice defence by conceding no fair notice was given. However, that alone is not a cut and shut case for Ripple. We'll still need to demonstrate XRP was sold in a way consistent with securities offering. Hmm. It's not a security, guys. So the SEC demonstrates regulation via litigation with Coinbase. So they're after now going after uh, Coinbase there, obviously because of that. So Coinbase was offering that so similar sort of um, you know system where you know investors put their you know cryptocurrency stable coins and they get a return on that, usually about four to five percent, similar to BlockFi. And obviously now they're starting litigation with Coinbase, which is annoying. Oh, they just want to control the crypto market because there's so much money being made here that the governments are trying to grab it as much as they can. You know, this is the same with any kind of people that make money in this world. There's always somebody trying to pull you down and governments are the number one. So Wednesday saw Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong tweet about his dealings with the SEC over the platform's Lend program. Armstrong said the commission considered the program to be a security and threatened to sue if they proceed with launching the new feature. What's worse, Armstrong said the agency refused to explain how they came to that determination. Billionaire investor Mark Cuban panned out, panned the SEC response by labeling it regulation via litigation. He advised Armstrong to go on the offensive. In an amusing take on uh, this, Ripple CEO Brett Garlinghouse responded to Armstrong by tweeting the meme from the Die Hard movie caption, Welcome to the party, pal. <laughs> Brad, you're a legend, mate. So uh, you can clearly see that there's all this action happening here. There's so much stuff happening with the SEC and regulation and trying to obviously, you know, stop people from moving forward in this incredible new age that we're all in. And, uh, you know, nevertheless, it's always going to be there. And uh, obviously this crypto market and industry and just the cryptos in general are not going anywhere, man. There's too many financial institutions. There's too many big players, banks, hedge funds, CEOs, companies that are using the technology Yes, I guess we need some sort of regulation, but they, they just need to stop with these litigations and law case, you know, law cases and lawsuits here because it's getting really annoying. But in regards to Ripple, guys, it's only a matter of time before this settles, honestly, and it's going to go parabolic. You know, everyone has said that there's a potential settlement happening at the end of September, which when we are now, what, the 13th of September. So only a few weeks left. We'll see what happens. I'm dollar cost averaging in. Yes, last night I bought more cryptos, and I'm going to get into my CoinSpot account, by the way just to show you this and for those of you who are new to cryptocurrencies please feel free to use the referral link below you can get ten dollars in bitcoin and who doesn't want bitcoin it is going to go parabolic i've seen um price predictions believe it or not and uh you know leave this is my opinion and obviously jp morgan um put out some price predictions i believe and i'll I've got to look up this, but I saw it. Uh, someone tweet about it uh, online that you know Bitcoin's going to be ending up in many years ahead of uh, today. It's going to be going to ten million dollars, Ethereum to forty k, Cardano at least to you know three or four hundred dollars, XRP well 
my predictions are at least ten to fifteen dollars as soon as this settles instantly because it will be relisted back on Coinbase. And believe it or not, they've trialed something on Coinbase Pro where they uh, there was an error. Um, it did get relisted. Something happened there. Got flagged on there. It bought up on Coinbase Pro. Some people picked it up and they took it straight down. So maybe they're preparing to relist XRP back on the exchange. Um, who knows what's going to happen with that? But guys, XRP I, I think is just easily a hundred to two hundred dollar coin in, in the next you know twenty four forty eight months, um, and uh, obviously in the next few years. And I've put up that video on my page. You know, ten to thirty five thousand. That's if all the finance institutions adopt it. It's used as a bridge between countries, and uh, obviously, you know, if it hits the derivatives market, which is a quadrillion dollars. You know, it could go parabolic. There won't be anything to stop XRP once this case settles, believe me. All right, so Bitcoin today is $63,000. Australian, this is AUD, by the way. Ethereum sitting at 4,700, up 4.47%. Cardano, $3.61. BNB, $583. XRP is back up above Solana at $1.57. Solana, $242. Great project. Polkadot, $50. Dogecoin, $0.35. Cents. Keep scrolling down here, guys, to my favorite. Stellar, 46 cents. VeChain, 16 cents. A great buying opportunity. Let's keep going down here. Uh, Hedera's at 59 cents, up 19%, guys. This is pumping at the moment. Incredible project. Neo, I am invested in Neo, $71. BTT is up 6.91%, just below a penny. Shiba Inu is up 1.9%. Keep going down. Let's have a look at XDC sitting at 17 cents today. All right, so uh, guys, if you're new to cryptos in Australia, please feel free to use the referral link below. If not, it's all good. But guys, last night I did buy the following. I bought more XRP dollar cost averaging. So setting an amount every week, I bought into XRP. I bought more XDC, which is great. And obviously the other one I'm investing in guys is Reef. Um, this one's sitting at three cents at the moment. This is a sleeper guys. This is a hidden gem, great project, great utility. Only a matter of time. So Reef is one that I'm dollar cost averaging in, building up my position to have a decent bag of Reef. This will go parabolic, similar to what happened with XYO, guys. So it's only a matter of time. So check that out. Reef is one that I'm holding and dollar cost averaging in. But they're the three that I bought last night. Obviously, you need a lot of money to invest in cryptos. And yeah, you don't, look, I guess dollar cost averaging takes out the need to have a lot of money. You're just putting, you know, 10, 20, 50, hundred dollars every week. If you can afford that, obviously some people can't, but just put in something you can afford and obviously do your own research. But uh, dollar cost averaging in to these cryptos is the best way. So you're not FOMO, FOMOing in to them. All right. So uh, let's have a look at Twitter today. Um, I just put up a, I just put up a post obviously with XIO, on, uh, XYO um, going live on Coinbase, but Jeremy Hogan put something interesting up and I, I agree with his tweet right here. Dear Coinbase, a nifty little litigation fact. It only costs about 10 to 20% more to defend two case causes of action as compared to one. Meaning if you're going to be sued by the SEC anyways, might as well relist XRP and risk taking on two lawsuits instead of just one. Really cool stuff. And you go in the comments, guys, so check this out. Hey, Jeremy, I think Coinbase would be wise to hire you as their, their dream team. And he'd do it for sure because he's a legend, Jeremy Hogan. And the money that would be relisting couldn't pay for it all. And exactly this uh, with some pocket change for a couple of Learjets over left over. So that would be incredible, guys. Incredible, guys. So yes, JH, is that legal advice? Yes, that was legal and financial advice. So that's incredible, man. Anyway, so this would be cool if they did relist it and take on the cases. You know, one kind of thing. Imagine that. Anyway, guys, let's have a look at TradingView today. I'm just going to quickly see what's going on here. This is my portfolio in TradingView. So BTC, XRP, AUD. Just have a look at the charts. Just wait for this to load. There you go. It's sitting at $1.53 at the moment. There, it's on a down, which is pretty good, guys. A great buying opportunity to dollar cost average into XRP. This is in Australian dollars, by the way. Let's have a look at my watch list. Let's see Reef. Ah, let's have a look here. So Reef at the moment is just moving up here, which is fantastic to see this at two cents here. This is a long-term play, guys, for me with Reef. You know, maybe a couple of years, I'm going to hold these. Like all my cryptos, I'll take my profits, my initial investment, I'll play with the house's money, I'll leave in what obviously the house is there. So uh, that's my intention with all these cryptos. So two cents, this is a hidden gem, guys. Reef is one that I'm definitely going to be adding a lot more into. And the other one, obviously, I bought was XDC, which actually, in actual fact, let's have a look at XYO. Uh, let's open XYO today. Look at that green candle, man. That's incredible stuff there. So just pumping. 
So uh, this is in Ethereum, by the way. I don't know why it's not listed in X, Y, in uh, USD or Australian dollars for the moment. Not sure why, but anyway, it's on the uptrend. It's not. Got, it's been pretty stable, remaining at about five cents at the moment. So it's pretty good. Definitely dollar cost averaging into X, Y, O. And obviously, my other favorite one here is XDC. Um, great project, great utility, part of the banking uh, sector um with ripple um so these two projects are both working with this new iso 2202 or whatever it was called um which obviously is going to change the financial sector with regards to blockchain technology sinfin and ripple are a part of this so when bankers are involved guys they want to see it succeed and i agree with that statement there that i saw someone put out they want to see it succeed so uh definitely want to hold in the portfolio xdc a definite sleeper. Um, let's have a look at coin market cap today. Uh, just in general, my portfolio. In actual fact, let's have a look at the entire market. Sitting at two point eight trillion dollars, trading volume one hundred forty six billion. BTC dominance forty percent. Ethereum eighteen percent there, which is awesome. Twenty four hours is in the green. Seven days is still in the red. Thirty days is still in the green, guys. And of the year, it's just gone parabolic. This is only going to keep going up, guys. And I believe we're at, you know, towards you know the mid to the end of this bull run if they want to say that but uh, guys in terms of investing in cryptos i'm planning on staying in this game for another cycle at least if not longer definitely long-term hold i've had friends and you know people that i know that have been invested in cryptos for the last five to six years so they've taken some serious profits here but they're still in the game and they're going to be in the game for a long time so just think about that for a moment. This is what I'm planning on doing, staying in this game for a long time because we are only at the beginning. It's the very beginning. All right, so let's have a look at my portfolio. Let's go to my watch list here and hopefully this works. All right, so this is my portfolio. This is everything that I'm holding at the moment. Bitcoin is up 1.18%. Cardano is up two, uh, down 2.66%. I uh, Obviously, I, sorry, I did buy more Cardano last night, dollar cost averaging in, because I just want to add more into my position because the smart contracts is coming out and uh, I don't see it staying at $3 at the moment. So it's going to go much higher than that. XRP, I bought more into that. It's up 2.89% today. Dogecoin, 2.69%. I'm not buying any more Doge. I am holding Tron, 17.28%. It is up. XLM, it is up 1.86%. VeChain, very bullish on VeChain, 2.89%. Theta, I am holding some Theta. And I've put it in cold storage because it's uh, definitely one to hold long term. It is up 1.76%. Hedera, I uh, haven't bought more into Hedera, but I will definitely this week. It's up 13.03%. Neo, 3.69%. BTT, 5.22%. Shiba Inu, 0.42%. Amp, I did buy some Amp. I'm not sure about this one at the moment, but uh, it's, I just did buy some to just to add to the portfolio. Holo, HOT, up 0.79%. Theta Fuel, uh, it is up 1.31%. XDC, bullish on that one. It is down 0.79%. Sia Coin, I am holding that. Uh, it is up 4.01%. Telcoin, great project there with utility. Did buy into that, uh, up 1.05%. Digibyte, DGB, uh, it is up 0.30%. ANKR, 1.21%. Sorry, 1.12%. XYO, it is down 3.17% today to 5 cents, guys. I bought into this well under a penny. Very happy that I did holding this one. Win, it is up 5.49%. This one again is below a penny, guys. So one to consider. Uh, VTHO is up 1.99%. Reef, very bullish on Reef, 1.21%. I'm not going to say the name of this one because it's just rubbish. Ecomi, uh, Omi is up 6.29%. I love the VV app. It is incredible with NFTs. Really cool platform there, guys. So Electronium is up 12.64%. Incredible. 5.52% Acropolis. So that's pretty much it. And the rest of them there are all just gambles for me down here. Other than that, guys, that's pretty much my entire crypto portfolio. Very happy to see XYO flying today. And again, XRP, it will go parabolic. Just give it some time. This thing is going to settle. It will go to the moon. Bankers are involved. Finance institutions are already using it. They want to see it succeed, and they will see it succeed, all right? So stick around for the incredible stuff coming with XRP in the next couple of weeks because everyone's saying end of September settlement. Let's see what happens, all right? Let me know in the comments below. Smash the like button. Smash the subscribe button. Let's have a good week investing, guys. Stay safe. Peace. Bye.